Hey there everybody and welcome. Today I am going to present a solo tutorial and full solo playthrough of Castles of Burgundy with the Chateauma Automa. For those of you who are not familiar with my channel, as you can see, I'm going to be using a program I wrote to teach and play the game. This will help ensure that I don't make any mistakes as I play. Keep in mind, I write these programs for my own personal enjoyment. I use them to teach and play games on my own, so please don't ask for a copy of this program because I never make these public unless the publisher enters into a prior agreement with me. If you like what you see, please check out some of the other 60 plus board game videos that I've made. Now, I'm not going to be teaching the rules for Castles of Burgundy itself. If you're watching this, I assume you already know how the game plays. I'm only going to be focusing on the rules for the Shatoma Automa player, and I'll explain things as each turn arises. Let me bring up the screen. I should know that the Shatoma starts the game like we do with one silver. It doesn't start with workers, or doesn't even collect workers because it doesn't use them. And it also starts the game with one of every trade good as shown along the top here. I'm going to be moving pretty quickly, so as a result, I'm not necessarily going to be playing terribly well, which is why I kept the difficulty setting it easy. Uh, I'm playing with a randomly assigned player board. It looks like I got player board 8. I should also point out I have not received my copy of the special edition yet, so the graphics you're seeing on the screen are kind of a mix of old and new. So player board 8 consists of lots of little areas, so that means I can rack up some nice bonuses early on if I focus on those. I have to pick a starting space for my castle. That's, it doesn't really matter. I think I'll just put it up here in the top upper left. And here we go. And the human always goes first. In a future round, if the Shatoma is ahead on the turn order track, then it would take the first turn. I am starting off with a double five. Uh, so therefore I'm going to take the five, the mine from depot five. Uh, I don't much care for that monastery right now. So, oh, I have a trade good here. I'll sell my trade good for a silver. And what's in the what's in here? I could take the castle, I could take the ship. And the monastery, whatever you want to take a hex from you. Oh yeah, I'm I'm taking that uh, monastery. Get a one uh plus or minus one on the die when taking a tile from the board. That's great. Okay, so here's the Shatoma. Now, the Shatoma doesn't have a player board the way we do. Instead, it has two county cards from a deck of nine. So it has one on the left, which is its primary county card. This is the one it's going to be focusing on most of the time, because when the white die is a roll of one to four, that's the card it focuses on. But when the white die is five or six, then it turns its attention to the secondary or alternate county card on the right. These are basically little mini player boards that the Shatoma Automa works with. Now, as part of is starting the game, it gets to place a castle on the card on the left. The cards have to be shuffled in such a way that the first card dealt always has to have a castle on it. Now, it just so happens that the first two dealt both had a castle, so they could have been dealt in either order. It wouldn't have made a difference. Because the white die was a one, Shatoma is working off of its left or primary card. Now, unlike me, it only rolls one die instead of two, because uh, with that single die, it both takes a tile and places a tile on that primary card. Now, because it rolled a six, it's going to look in depot six for a tile that it can use on this card. There are two. There's an animal card that could go here, or a building, a bank, that could go here. When there's a tie, it simply chooses the, the tile uh, in reading order on the county card. So in that case, 
the preference is going to go to the building, so it is going to take the bank and immediately gain two silver. That would normally be the end of its turn, but the, since it's getting two silver from the bank and will therefore have three, any time it ends its turn with two or more silver, it's going to purchase a tile from the Black Depot. The Shatoma has a special area to the right of its duchy board. This is its duchy board up here. And this, is, uh, this area over here is called the Reserve. When it takes the tile or buys the tile from the Black Depot, it wants to buy the tile that it has the least of in its reserve. Well, right now it doesn't have anything in its reserve. So it's going to give priority to the tile type in reading order, meaning it'll want to take or buy a tile from the Black Depot, a castle. Well, there is a castle uh, in the Black Depot, so that's what it's going to buy. So to summarize, it's going to place the bank here, collect two silver, and then buy the castle and place it in its reserve. That's sort of like its storage area, in the same way I have a storage area, except it can store an unlimited number of tiles, all stacked in separate stacks by type. Okay, I'll unpause and let the game proceed. So there is the bank gets the two silver, spends the two silver, takes the castle from the uh, Black Depot, and puts it in its reserve. For my part, I'm not going to be thinking too much about what I think the, auto, the Shatoma might be doing on its turn. I really want my turns to go fast. So with a five to two, you are no longer, oh yeah, I want that monastery, so I'm going to take that. This is the one I want to place first. So I guess I'll change this 5 to a 4, and I'll place it over here because this is the smaller of the two monastery areas right now. Oh, I have to drag it. Okay, great. I'm going to pause. Let me make a note here. Uh, plus plus or minus one when taking a tile. I don't want to forget that, although it's unlikely that I will, considering that I got that tile right off the bat. Shatoma's turn, the white die is a three, so it's again working on the primary card. It rolled a six, so it's going back to depot six. Now it sees the animals, the four sheep. It's going to take that and score four points. Very simple. So with a 4-3, I can place my mine with the 3, and with the 4, can't place that, but I want ship, so I will take the ship from Depot 4. Okay, Automa uh, or Shatoma rolled a 5. I'm going to be using those terms interchangeably. In Depot 5, there is a monastery. It's still working on the primary county card. It doesn't need a monastery for this card, so it's going to move to the next depot in clockwise order. There's nothing in Depot 6. Continues. In Depot 1, there's a building and a ship. The building comes before the ship on the card, so it is going to buy this church and it's going to use the white die to take a castle, mine, or monastery from the game board. Well, the white die is a 1, so it's going to start looking here for a castle, mine, or monastery. There's just a ship. Moves down. Oh, there's a castle. It takes that castle and puts it in its reserve. So now it's going to have two castles in its reserve. Uh, because this building space has a sell goods icon on it, then when it's done, it's going to sell whatever trade good it has the most of. Well, it has one of everything. So it's going to sell the leftmost or lowest number trade good. It'll sell one trade good of uh, number one for uh, two bucks and a silver. And then it has two silver again. So it's going to buy from the Black Depot, whatever it has the least of. Well, it has zero ships and zero uh, buildings in its reserve, and buildings come before ships, so it's going to take this market 
and put it in its, in its reserve. And I think that's everything. So let's unpause. Takes the church, puts it on that space. It takes the castle, puts it in the reserve. It sells the trade good, two points and a silver, and then pays two silver, taking the market and putting it in its reserve. Okay, uh, I will place my monastery with a six with the one I'm going to take the ship. Okay, it's again focusing on the left county card. It rolled a five. The only space left here is a ship space. And there are no ships in any of the depots on the game board. So when that happens, the Shatoma tries to place a tile that it has in its reserve. It doesn't have any ship tiles in its reserve. So the next thing it might do is it's going to look at the black space in its reserve. That's a special space where it holds tiles that it considers wild. If it had a wild tile, it would use that to fulfill this space, to place a, a, a wild tile in the, in the ship space. It doesn't have any wild tiles. So what it's going to do is go to the black depot, not have to spend any silver. It's just going to take the first tile that's there in reading order, put it on this special black space so it has a wild tile for a future turn. So th this is the only time when the Automa doesn't actually take and place a tile because there's no tile for it to take in place. So it's going to collect a wild tile. Now in the unusual event that there were no tiles in the black depot, then as a last resort, the Automa would collect two silver. But in this case, it's going to save this ship, and it just happens to be a ship, which is what it needs for this space. But as far as it's concerned, it's not a ship, it's a, a wild tile. Now, normally these are placed face down on space six so that you don't confuse them with all the other tiles in the reserve. So you remember that it's a wild tile. But my program's not going to forget, so it just places the tiles face up. Uh, I want to place these ships, obviously. I have no workers, and I can't place the ship. So I guess I'm going to cash something in. I guess I'll cash in the, um, I'll cash in the five for two workers, change the one to a two, and place one of my ships over here. That's good for 11 points. But for the ship, I get to take goods from a trade, uh, from a depot. I will take the four and the three. They're here in depot three. I advance on the turn order track. Shatoma rolls a two. Again, it's looking for a ship. There are no ships. It has no ships in its reserve on, its, on the ship tile space, but now it has a bonus tile, a wild tile rather, that happens to be a ship. So it's going to place that here and, uh, and complete the card. And there are three numbers in the top right-hand corner for this card. Uh, the 17, 21, and 25, I believe. Since I'm playing an easy game, the Automa is going to score 17 points for completing this card. Now, it's then going to take all the tiles on this card and move them out onto its duchy, because it's out here where it keeps track of how many tiles it's completed, and when it fulfills a, a section, then it is going to take the bonus tile for that section from up here. That's going to be a long way from doing that. Now, if this wild tile wasn't a ship, let's say it happened to be a building, then it would have been placed up here in the building area when it's removing these tiles from the card, not in the ship area. So it ignores the space that the tile was placed on. It goes by what the tile actually is. All right. So it takes this ship, treats it as a wild tile, scores 17 points, and then moves all the tiles out to its duchy. It then slides the 
uh, county card that was on the right to the left. So now that card is the primary card, and it draws a new one to fill the gap. And now we're in round two. And I had a mine, so I gained a silver for that. If the uh, Shatoma had any mines on its county cards or in its duchy, it would have scored, uh, gained silver for, for those as well, but it didn't. Okay, double threes, I want to place a ship again. Uh, so I guess I'll change one of these to a four. Place it up here. That's good for now nine points, I guess. Trade good wise, um, I guess I'll take the two from Depot 4, although I'm going quickly here. Uh, six one, I can't use that. Okay. Um, now I do have a monastery, the, the monastery that lets me change this to a two or a four, so I can look in Depots 2, 3, and 4. Uh, I don't care for this monastery, maybe I want the, you know, really, not maybe, I think I definitely want the castle since it's the only one out there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to bother looking, I'm taking the castle. Once again, it's focusing on the left card, the, the white die was a 2. So on a 1 to 4, it focuses over here. It's starting in Depot 1 because it rolled a 1. There is a building and a ship, but it doesn't care about the ship. It cares about the building, so it's going to place the warehouse here. And then it's going to sell the most of whatever trade good it has. Well, again, it doesn't have a majority of anything, so it's going to sell the lowest number trade good for two points and one silver. And that ends its turn. Okay, so I want a two. Again, I don't care for that monastery. I do like that monastery, but it's not really viable at the moment. Uh, there are goats. I guess I could take the goats. Uh, although the town hall is nice too. I think I'll take the Town Hall, and with my one, is this a bank? Yeah, I'll take the bank. Okay, Depot 2, there's a monastery it doesn't care about down here, there are the goats, it's going to take them and score three points. Oh! Oh, sorry, I thought, oh! I thought that was an animal space. That's an animal space. That was a monastery, monastery space. I'm sorry. So it took the monastery from Depot 2 and placed it there. I've got a 4-3. I'll place the town hall. Uh, where? On the 3? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to drag it. All right, that lets me place a tile. Now I've got a four. I, I'm going to place the castle, which let me then lets me, and I get eight points for that. That lets me take a free action. I'll go ahead and place the bank. Get two silver. With my four, when you gain two silver, you gain two silver instead of one. But I really, I gotta take the mine. Chances are it's not gonna be looking for a monastery anytime soon, I don't think. So I think I can let that stick around for a bit. So I'm gonna take the mine, because it wants a mine. Uh, not right now, because it's finally focusing on the right hand card, but I don't wanna lose that. And I can purchase if I want. Oh, I guess I'll take the goats. Okay, so it rolled a six. It's going to take these goats and score three. Or two. Is that two? Two goats, sorry. Okay, I rolled a double three. 
Well, I could take the other goat with one of those threes. I have a three I can sell. So I'll do that. That ends my turn. So it rolled a six. There is nothing in depot six. There is a ship in depot one. Doesn't need a ship over here. There's nothing in depot two, nothing in depot three. There is a building here which it will take. It's going to take the town hall. Now when it places a town hall, it uses a tile from the reserve that it has the most of and places it on any one of the empty spaces on either county card. So it's probably going to take this castle and place it right there because it does so in reading order. So it took the town hall, it places the castle, and with the castle, it uses the white die to perform an additional action, taking another tile for this card. It needs a mine so it can look all at once. There are no mines out here, so instead of taking a tile, it will sell goods, which is what it just did. And now it has two silver, so it has no mines in the reserve, so it's going to take that mine and put it in, in its reserve. Okay, three, two. That's pretty bad for me. Huh. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get rid of the three for two workers. And then I'll change the two to a one so I can at least get started placing goats. And I'll score three points for that. I'm not going to buy right now. For its last turn of round two, it's working on the right-hand card because of the five on the white die. It rolls a six. There's nothing there. Over here, there's a ship that it doesn't need. Nothing, nothing. Another ship. A monastery. It will take the monastery. It will put it here. Now, it doesn't get any benefits from placing monasteries, but it, they are worth four points to the Shatoma at the end of the game, each one, on its county cards or in its duchy. There's also a sell good space here, so it looks like it's going to sell the one trade good four. That's the one it has the most of to the farthest left. That's going to be worth two points and one silver. And again, the end of the round, uh, I get a silver. And the Automa still does not have any mines. It doesn't count the mine in its reserve. It's only looking for mines up here in the duchy or on its county cards, so it doesn't get any silver. Two set of tiles. What are the monasteries? Whenever you use the take two workers, I like that. And this one, well, I do have a bank, but right now that's not so attractive. So I'll take this monastery. I guess I could take it with either die. Um, I guess I want to take it with my three. So I can place it with my two. Oop, over here I want to place it. Complete this region. And that's worth three plus uh, six. Nine points. What's out here? Monastery 14, when you use the take workers, you get four instead of two. That's pretty good. End of the game, score four for different livestock. Maybe, but not right now. Another church, which I'm going to hold off on, and a watchtower worth four points. I think I want this monastery. Yeah. It rolls a four over here. It's looking for a mine, so it's going to take the one and only mine from Depot 5. Complete this. It's worth 17 points at easy mode. This card slides over. A new one fills the space. 
Okay, round three, phase two. Uh, I can place my mine with the six, complete that region for, what is that, nine points? And I um, guess I can, can I play the goats? I could play the goats here. Though it might be more beneficial to get this out at the moment. I really want to start over. I want to start on this section. So I'm going to change this to a 2 and place it here. Okay, it rolls a 4. It's looking for buildings. In Depot 4, there is a warehouse, so it's going to take it. It will sell one trade good number five for two points and a, and a silver that will then have two silver. It's going to buy what it has the least of. It doesn't have any monasteries. It doesn't have any castles either, but there are no castles. So it's going to take that monastery and move it to its reserve. So there's the warehouse. It sells that trade good for a, a silver and two points and takes the monastery. Moves it to the reserve. Okay, I have a six and a two. Uh, I'll take the castle in Depot 2. I'm going to take the ship from Depot 1. Okay, it rolls a one. It's over here. It's looking for a building. There is a church, so it's going to take the church, and then it'll use the white die to find a castle, a mine, or a monastery, starting in Depot 4. There's a monastery in Depot 5. It'll take that. Put it in its reserve. Completes this card, I think, worth 14 points. Yep. And it's back to me. I'll place my goats over here. And what am I going to do with the six? I could take pigs. If I cash it in, I can get four workers and a silver now, thanks to my monasteries. Four workers and a silver. And with the two silver, should I take? the church now. There's no mine, there's no castle, there's no monastery. I don't know that it makes sense. But it, I could just save it for next round. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, it's focusing on the right secondary card. It rolls a four. There's a ship. It's going to place the ship here. Now when it places a ship, it takes all the trade goods from the depot containing the most trade goods. Breaks the tie using the white die. Well, there's no tie here. It's going to take all four of these goods. And because there's a sell goods space, it's going to sell what it has the most of, which it looks like it's, probably, looks like it's going to be the sixes. So it'll have three sixes, which it'll sell for six points and a silver. So there's the ship. Takes the trade goods. Sells the three. And that's that. Six and four. Again, I can place my church, but there's nothing on the board that I can take at the moment. Uh, I will change the 6 to a 1 and place my castle for 7 points, I think. And with the bonus, um, I could place the ship here or here, and I'll just place it there. Okay, trade goods I can take. I, there are two ones here. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take the two ones. 
And with my four, I guess I can start taking pigs. It rolls a four over here. It would ideally like a monastery. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. There is a building. It will use it. So it'll take the watchtower and score four points. Moving into round four. We're going at a good clip here. We can take more pigs here. And I need a three. Oh, I can place it down here. Yeah. Okay. I don't really need workers. Monastery seven. When you place a livestock, I eh, don't know how many. I, I am placing a lot of livestocks, livestock tiles, but I'm not sure about that. Warehouse. Yeah, I'll take the warehouse. Okay, Shatoma rolls a three on the left county card. There are cows here. It will take the cows and score three points. Are there any other cows? No goats and sheep. No cows over here. So it'll only get three points. Oh, and it buys sheep. Because it had building, it had a monastery, it didn't have any animal tiles, so it bought the animal tile for two silver. Six and a five is a perfect roll for me. I'll place the warehouse up here. And I'll sell uh, my two... Ooh, what's out here? Okay, I'll sell my two fours. And then I'll place the church. And with the church, I'll take the mine. Okay, it rolls a three. In depot three, there is a building which it doesn't need for that tile. Over here, there's a ship. It doesn't need a ship. Here's a monastery. That's what it's going to take. It's going to fill that space. It is going to sell goods. It has one good here, which it'll sell for two points and a silver. And I'll take the castle for the th with the three. And I'll place the pigs with the five. Again, I'm going really fast, so I don't know if I, I'm making an obvious mistake or not. Uh, Chateauma rolls a two over here. In Depot 2, there is a monastery. It's going to take it. Five and a one. I'll take this market. Oh. Um. Oh, I can place the castle. Uh, with the five. So I'll, I'll use that with the market. Place the castle here. And uh, I guess I'll place my mine, and that will get... Oh, I just got a castle five-point bonus, because that's the end of my castles, and now I'm going to get a, a five-point bonus tile for the mines. Great. Okay, it rolled a three. It's still looking for a monastery. There are none on the board, but it does have a monastery in its reserve, so it will place that. It does get the bonus when it places tiles from the reserve, unless they're wild. But there is no bonus for a monastery. But it's going to complete this card for 14 points, getting it to 93. Slides the card over, takes a new one. 
Now we're in the last phase of round four. Uh, I got a market here. I'll put it here on the two. And I can take a ship. I guess I want the ship. Take that ship. And with the four, I can place it down here. And what do I want? Oh, I can use the two and two threes. Okay, it's on the right hand side. It rolls a three. In depot three, there is a warehouse, which it's going to put here. And then with that warehouse, as usual, it's going to sell whatever it has the most of. Well, it only has one good, so it's going to sell that. It's going to end up with two silver. It has a building tile. It doesn't have a monastery in its reserve, so it's going to take the monastery from the black, tile, uh, black, mark, black depot. Sorry. Moving into round five. Okay, we have goats, we have cows, we have pigs. I'll take the ship from depot four. And with the two, I guess I can take this ship. Um, or I could place the ship I have. There's a ship in the in the black depot. Although it, it might have it might be interested in that too. Should I take ships or should I place the ship? As it gets later in the game, I've got more options, so it's a little harder for me to decide what I want to do. I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh, place it. And then I'll choose a trade good. Uh, there's not much out here. Uh, I guess I'll take the one. Uh, do I want to buy this ship? I guess I will. With a four, okay, it's over here. There's a building. It is a boarding house, which for the Chatoma scores at two points. It's going to go right there. Okay, well, I need monasteries, don't I, if I want to fill this section before it fills its section. It's two spaces away. Uh, so I'll start taking monasteries and I won't, I'll ignore what they are, although that probably is a, one I could use. Uh, so I'll use a five. I could use either die for this. I'll use my five. And yeah, I'll, I'll just place it with the four. So that's, oh, no, I still need one more. I can buy from Black Depot. I guess I'll take the pigs. Shatoma rolls a two. It's over here. Um, doesn't it, it really wants a ship, so it is going to come all the way around and take the ship from Depot 1. And it'll take the three trade goods that are in Depot 2. Takes whatever Depot has the most trade goods. Completes another card for 14 points. I roll a double two. Great. So with the two, I'll take this Monastery. And then I'll change the two to a one and finish my monastery area. It rolls a two. 
over here it's looking for a ship or a building there's a building it's going to take that bank get two silver and it's going to just take the first uh, building that's down here which is a carpenter's workshop oh sorry there was a warehouse in that space i missed it so the animal comes before the building so it places the cows instead and scores three plus three or six points oh and then was that a sell good space because it looks like it's selling goods has two silver it's going to buy the carpenter's workshop i'll place the pigs And from Depot 3, I guess I'll take the bank. There's not much out there. So the 4, again over here, it is still looking for a ship or a building. Nothing, nothing. There is a building. It will take the warehouse and uh, sell one trade good. A number 3. So I basically deprived it of ships. Okay, my last turn. So I need to place this last ship so I get the bonus. So I'll change this to a six. And that'll get me the five point bonus. It looks like the, uh, yeah, the uh, Shatoma never got a bonus. And it does not look, it's still over here. It's not looking for a monastery at all. So it is not going to fill, fill the monastery section. So it's not going to get any bonuses. Uh, with my three, I guess I can put it down here. It's good for two silver. Or I could put it here. It doesn't matter. Oh, I have to, for that ship, I have to choose a trade, uh, trade good, a depot. Uh, I guess I'll just take the three. I, I can't. There's no multiples here. I can take a two, but I don't need a four or five. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll just take the. I'll take the two. And then with the three, I want to place the bank. Yeah, that's what I was doing. So that gets me two silver, which is worth two points. I'm definitely, um, yeah, I'm not going to bother taking a tile at this point. Last turn for Shatoma, it rolls a three. It's obviously not going to find a ship. It doesn't have one it's in its reserve. It doesn't have a wild tile in its reserve. So it's going to take the warehouse from the black market and, you, and put it in its reserve as a wild tile, which it will never use, but it will get a point for that. Um, anticlimactic ending for Shatoma. Okay, we get our uh, silver. I get three. I think Shatoma got one. My endgame scoring works, so I won 185 to 158. No surprise there. I really should be playing, even playing quickly. I guess I should be playing on medium difficulty. Endgame scoring for me works the same way. I had a boatload of uh, unsold goods, no pun intended, worth nine points. Five silver, thanks to uh, all my mines. Um, that's worth five points. My monastery 16, which is four points per... Uh, what is that? Per warehouse, I have one. So that's only four points. Shatoma gets four points for each of its monasteries, up here and down here, but not over here. So it had five, and it's worth 20 points. Get the, one point for every unsold good, that's one point. One point per leftover silver, that's two points. One point for every tile in its reserve, so it claims that it has eight tiles up there. And then it gets two points for every tile left on its county cards. 
So 246, bring you up to 158. And that is a full solo game of Chatoma and Castles of Burgundy. Um, did I cover Chatoma rules for every possible building? What are the seven buildings? Can I think of them? There's the bank. That's one. I want to be sure I didn't miss one. Warehouse, church. Well, what does it have? So there's a carpenter's workshop, which it never actually played, so I shouldn't be looking there. A boarding house, a watchtower, a bank, a church, a town hall. That's five. So when it builds a carpenter's workshop, workshop, it uses the white die to take a building from the game board and place it in the reserve. So in this case, if it had played the carpenter's work, workshop, it would have well, looked for a building starting in Depot 4, and uh, there it found an, another carpenter's workshop in Depot 1. It would have taken that and placed it. Uh, if if it actually needed or had to, because that's the bonus it gets for the Carpenter's Workshop. And then the market, uh, what is the bonus? So it never placed a market. And there's no market out here. So what does it do for a market? Well, what do I get for a market? Uh, take a blue ship. Yeah, so it's going to use the white dye to take a blue ship or a green animal tile from the depots. It, big, it basically works the same way as it does for me, except the tile that it takes goes into its reserve. Okay, that's it. If you saw any mistakes in my programming logic, I'd appreciate it if you'd point them out in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.